It's five o'clock on a Wednesday and it's time for... A Craig and Marlon Magic Review Show. I'm Craig. And I'm Marlon. Welcome back to another review show right here on... Magic TV. Absolutely. We're looking at five tricks this week. Five? five? New, yeah, five. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Five new tricks this week. Uh, we've got some good <laughs> tricks, we've got some not so good tricks, we've got something Three for more. everybody. Three Three. Three. Yes, because <laughs> I'm lazy. Um, and we're going to start off, we're going to start off this week with, what should we start with? How about we start uh, with, no, we'll start with the coin trick. We'll start coin, with the coin okay. trick. Okay, see, Yeah. Sea coin. We're going to start with sea coin, which created a lot of buzz when it coin. came out a couple of weeks ago. A lot of people uh, kind of thinking, what's the method, what's not the method. Well, we're going to talk about this right now. So let's get straight into the first but review. But the method's not a chair. No, it's not a chair. What? <laughs> let's, let's look at the first review. Okay, so first up, we have the sea coin set, um, which is by Menzi Magic, and it's Zeo... Uh, Zinyi or something like that, I'm, I think. Zaya Zinyi, possibly, maybe. If I've butchered your name, I'm very sorry. And this came out, me and, Ryan, me and uh, Lloyd talked about this on the podcast. This came out a couple of weeks ago. And so a lot of people have been talking about this on the Magic Cafe. And one of the reasons is people have been kind of trying to guess the method because the trailer makes the trick look very, very clean because you see a red Chinese coin going into the spectator's hands. And then with no moves, when they open up their hand, there's a silver coin, there's a, uh, a yellow, yellow coin. And normally to do something like that, you need a double-sided coin or you need some sort but I of... I check it out. Yeah, but there's no double-sided coin here. Now, if you haven't seen this, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with it. Ryland's gonna do, uh, he did this on Instagram, Did they have a live performance? Oh, no, they didn't have no, a live performance, did. no. I don't wanna watch the tutorial. Uh, yeah, well, you were the one that watched the tutorial. You said to me, there's no live performance. Um, <laughs> But look, we're going to have a look at uh, Ryan filmed this for Instagram uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, a couple of days ago. So we're going to have a look at an Instagram performance of this so you can see exactly what it looks like. Ryan's doing like a two phase transposition routine. And then we're going to talk very openly about what it is and what you get and, and whether it's any good. Or not. OK, so I've got my dad behind the camera and I've got two coins, a yellow coin and a red coin. Now I'm gonna make these two coins transpose. So this one, this red one's gonna turn yellow and the yellow one's gonna turn red. That'll be cool, right? Yeah, it would. Right, you watch this. Watch the red coin, you ready? Yeah. You can see if I do this. No you see that way. It's now yellow. And shall we look under the glass? Yes, we should. Sure? Yes. You see that coin is now red? That's sick. Look, put your hand out, put your hand out. Okay. Look. We'll put that in your hand, close your hand, turn it over. Okay. Now we see we've got the yellow coin here. Yeah. You see it? Watch this. We can do this. We can do that, 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 that. And hopefully if this has worked, this one's now red. Yes, look in your hand. There's no way hand. that's yellow. Check. There's no way that is... What? And you can see we've got a yellow and a red coin. Okay, so that was C coin. I, I have questions because you watched the tutorial. You've gone and done this in a gig. And you've also filmed, yeah, filmed this for Instagram, obviously. Um, first of all, the, the, the tutorial was about half an hour in length. And they went through lots of different ideas, didn't they? It wasn't just the transposition. They went through a bunch of different routines. And it was actually 35. It was 36 minutes. 36 minutes. And they went through a bunch of stuff, but no live performances. It's all subtitled because they're speaking... Um, Chinese? Chinese, possibly. So because before, there are Chinese coins. So. Yeah, so because of that... You have to watch the, um, you know, the subtitles, but that's absolutely fine. That's not a problem. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I believe, well, I know, I know this is, this is based on, this is a very different piece of methodology that you would normally see in a coin routine like this. Normally when you're doing a transposition or you're doing a, um, a spell band or something like this, there's one of two sort of principles at play. Either you're switching one coin for another or you're using a double-sided coin and ringing it in and out of various different parts of the routine. What we have here is the method is based around temperature. I think we need to say that to people because the part of the review is letting people know what's practical and what's not so practical. So I think it's very important that we talk about this. Now, when you first showed this to me, I was blown away. I thought the performance was really, really good. And then, no, it really was. But then I was asking you like loads of questions. So here's the thing. Without, you know, I think we can be very honest and open about this. You get three coins. You get a regular silver coin. Sorry, you get a regular yellow coin, a regular red coin. And you get a special coin that's, that's yellow. But if you hold it in your hand, it becomes red. No. It's a red coin, 
Do you want to explain? So it's a red coin when you put it in your hand, it turns yellow because of heat. So then, heat activates it. Uh -huh. And then when you put it under a cold glass of water, it goes red. So my question, which might be a question that a lot of you guys have, is whether this is practical for a gig or not. Because yeah. if you keep it in your pocket, it's just going to go hot, isn't it? Yeah. But that's not an issue. No. Because, because you want it to stay hot. Because what he does is he, to make sure it definitely stays hot, he puts a heat warmer in his pocket so it stays yellow. And then when he brings it out, he does that and he puts it under the cold glass of water and then changes. And then that one's now red. And then when he puts it in the hand, it's now yellow. And then he puts it back in his pocket and then, and, it, and then he can walk over to the next person and it's still yellow. Okay, so... So, it, so you want it to be hot. So you wouldn't need to carry a heat warmer around with you, though, would you? No, no. Like, you could reach into your pocket and say, sure I've got two coins pocket. in my hand. You could squeeze it in your hand and you say, I've got two coins in my hand. I'm going to show them to you and then open up your hand and you know that's going to achieve the same thing. Mm -hmm. The only thing is you have to carry a glass of water around with you because you have to have that coin turn cold. You couldn't just do it as a one-phase routine and do it well, in the spectator's you, hand. Cold with you. Well, I was going to say, an ice pack in your other pocket. Well, I was going to say, how about taking an ice pack and yeah, putting yeah, it into put a it pack in of cards, pocket. putting it into a card box? Oh, so you yes. have the card box put... on the table, and rather than put it under a glass, you can say, Look, I'm going to put that coin underneath that card box, and then when they lift up the card box, it's going to be cold and it'll and turn. Because of the iPad, it, it feels like it's a normal deck of cards. Yeah, you could even put like a Hollywood style gimmick in there. And have like it make it look like it's a oh. deck of cards. So Hollywood. Yes. Wood. Exactly. Big, big clue. Wood. Exactly. I did that in my closet show yesterday. I know you did. Yeah, it went really well. Um, so, but 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 so so you need. To, I'm, I just want to make sure that this is practical because you're saying it's practical. You've done this in a gig. Yeah. You, you, you. It is practical. Yeah. Right. Did it work? Did you have any problems? What happens if they don't close their hand straight away? Will it change? Like, how long does it take before it changes? This is the information I want to know. I don't, I don't even, I think it's like, I don't know, if you, I think it'll be a, quite, a, quite a long time because then it, it's only when you're actually applying like pressure, like heat. Because if it's in your hand, unless your hand is like, really, really, really hot, it's not going to change until you like proper, like, put it down. Or you close it because like there's a there's a move where you can have it have it you can have the coin and then you just put your finger on it and you can see it visually changes to yellow oh that's nice yeah that's nice that's nice so yeah i'd probably go for the ice pack thing i'd yeah. put an ice pack because i think that putting it under a glass is fine but carrying a glass around with you isn't always the best solution and i suppose if you're working in a restaurant you could put it under if somebody's got a pint of beer or somebody's got a coke with ice in it you could put it underneath their glass in it and I achieve didn't the same thing ice. he used it and he just had a cup of coffee and just a normal coke oh right okay so you could go back the other direction by putting it under the coffee cup okay that's interesting um but putting it in their hand will also achieve the same thing yeah. and then obviously you get three coins so the other met the other factor that you have to factor one red, into this one yellow and the temperature so, so the other thing that you have to factor into this is that you are going to have to learn to do some sort of spellbound type move. You were doing spellbound and doing yeah. coin switches. But it doesn't have to be a spellbound. It could be like just a bobo switch or something like that. If people aren't uh, experienced at coin magic, it could be a bobo switch or something like that. Yeah? Okay, good. Um, you mentioned the problem if it was too hot or something. You said something about... Oh, yeah. If it, if it was... If the venue was like too hot, if it was if it was outside and it's a really hot day, or it's inside and there's a lot of people and there's a bunch of body heat, if you take it out and it's and it's red, like if you've got it, if you've got the ice pack thing, and then it's and then it, when you take it out, it would you take it out of your pocket, it's red, and you hold it up and it just turns yellow straight away. It's obviously too hot to do. Mm -hmm. But if it's like a, if it's like a really hot venue, like lots of people inside, or you're outside on a hot day, you can't do it. So yesterday, when you were performing, it was it bloody hot. It wouldn't have worked yesterday. It wouldn't have worked yesterday. Okay. So it's about knowing the environment. If it's an air-conditioned place, you're going to be absolutely fine. If you're performing outside in a festival in Arizona, you might want to consider not doing it. Right, okay. Um, right, brilliant. Okay. So what are you going to give it? I mean, you've done this. You've done it on Instagram. You've done it at a gig. You're absolutely the person to give this a rating. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to give it 79%. I think it's great. I really like it. But I've got so many different ways of making coins change from one to another. And I've got so many different versions 
of copper silver, it would just not get done. I'd say I'd do it. I'd put it in my case and I wouldn't do it. I so, would. I know you don't. You do a lot of coin magic, but I don't think you do a copper silver, do you? Um, but if, 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 yeah, this. You'd do this it. This is like a copper silver. It is. It's it's very original. In ways, in some ways, it's better than a copper silver because it's 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 yellow and red. It's more it's more visual and yeah. I love that there's idea no of touching it and changing it. And there's no double sided secrets. No double sided secrets. Just a no, temperature no, based. No no secret. no no um, flippers. No flippers. No, no flippers. flaps. No flaps. No. You sound like a dealer advert now. <laughs> so what are you what are you going to give it? What are you going to give it? Now why is magnets, threads, trapdoors, secret compartments, or chocolate covered midgets? No, it's chocolate covered frogs. Oh, is it frogs? Okay. <laughs> what are you going to give it? Um, ninety nine. Ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent for the kid magician. Uh, the only thing I would say is that uh, it takes if it um uh if you're in the Antarctica, don't do it. <laughs> because it'd be too cold. Right? <laughs> too cold. Too cold. Um, I would just say the one thing. Uh. Uh, with the, uh, maybe just, um, <coughs> I can't see. Maybe just, uh, have it so it, like, uh, turns red a bit quicker. Because, like, like, it'll turn yellow straight away. But to turn it back to red, like, when you put it under a cold glass of water. The reason I was <coughs> talking for so long on the answer is, like, it was taking quite a while to actually turn red. So that like might... Have, yeah, so, it's, so I'm saying you have to, like, speak a bit before you actually take the glass off. Well, that might be because um, you were just using a glass of water. If you had like an ice pack, it would probably turn a lot quicker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. Okay, so 99% from Ryan and 79% from me. Uh, it's really cool. But, but then again, it is a hot day today. So. It is a hot day today, that's the thing, yeah. Uh, we're going to move on right now with another trick. And this is another coin trick, but this one's by Bond Lee. Okay, so this, it's not just by Bond Lee, actually. It's yes, by it Bond Lee MS Magic, which is Bond Lee's company an N2G, uh, and it's called the CSTC Jumbo, the super, the Chinese super triple coin Jumbo. Chinese super triple. This is insanely expensive. <laughs> this is almost- That's like a tongue twister. This is almost 200 pounds. This is insanely expensive. Wow. Now I do a lot of Jumbo coin manipulation, so I saw this and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna treat myself to this yeah, because- Yeah, you got big, really big hands. I have got big hands and I do a lot of Jumbo coin man manip, so I thought this would be something to do. Um, so I'm gonna show you a performance of it very quickly, just so you can see the sort of thing that you can do with this. It's basically a super triple coin, but a Jumbo size. And then I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons. But first of all, here's the performance. Okay, I'm going to show you a trick with a piece of uh, a piece of nothing. Now, now I can take this piece of nothing and turn it into a big Chinese coin. How weird's that? Now, because it's a big Chinese coin, I can make the coin invisible again. Well, it's not invisible. It's a piece of nothing. Hang that up in the air right there. And if I take it, I can uh, make it come back. I can even make that coin jump from over there, over to there. Or I can take the coin, throw it up in the air and, and bring it back. That's absolutely not a problem. I can do all of that. But here's the thing. I'm a magician. So because I'm a magician, I should be able to do more than just make the coin jump from over there and make it appear over there. And I am going to do more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, uh, the coin and make a second one appear. Now you can't see it until I do this and then it becomes visible. That's two coins. This one here is coin number one. Uh, this one here is coin number two. Watch the two coins. Don't blink because there is a third coin as well. You can see those two there. The third coin's there. That's one, two. Oh, that's weird. Um, it was meant to be a third one. There was a third one a second ago. Hang on, if I take the third one, throw it up in the air, I can catch it right there. There we go. That's number one. Uh, this one here is number two. And this one here is number three. Three coins. Now, if you can make them appear, you should be able to make them disappear as well. Watch the first one. If I just take it, I can squeeze it into nothing. That leaves us with just, uh, just two. Watch these two coins. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take this one, squeeze this one into nothing and have that one go there. And the final one, this is the hardest one the lot. I throw that one into the air and that's a trick with three big Chinese coins. So that's the uh, CSTC jumbo. Now, let me talk about a negative and if N2G is involved, you probably know what the negative is. Tutorial. The tutorial is terrible. No live performance. You never see someone's face. It's a four minute or a three minute, 45 second performance. Uh, yeah, just uh, like just over a three and a half minute tutorial. 
And that routine that I taught you, uh, sorry, that routine that I performed taught. for you there, taught. that sorry, that routine I performed for you, that's the one that's taught on the project. Yeah. But it's taught very badly. Uh, I mean, it's okay, uh -huh. but but it's four minutes long. How? Four how, minutes. I just said that. It's three minutes forty-five seconds. That's the whole tutorial. So that entire thing that I just performed for you there. Oh um, was taught in three minutes, 45 seconds. So if you're new to magic and you've never done jumbo coin manipulation before, you well, know, if you're new it, to magic, you would have thought just to, really well. just to learn a lot of jumbo coin magic is based on the Tenkai palm. Can I try that? Your hands are going to be too small at the moment. Yeah. Tenkai palm. There you go. Tenkai. One, one I'm day. I'm hiding the coin. I'm hiding the coin. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. So a lot of jumbo coin magic's uh, based on Tenkai palm. Just to learn a coin vanish like this, it should what? take over, it should take like seven or eight minutes to fully explain the psychology behind something like that, let alone the fact that you're having to learn how to work with a gimmick coin as well. So the tutorial is terrible, and if you're new to Jumbo Coin Magic, this is going to be a lot of money you spend. When, you spend, when you're charging this much money for a product... I really think Make that sure you should be... Make sure you're a pro at Coin Magic before you can... Before yeah, well, if you're spending this much money on a product, I think that you, you, you deserve to have a better tutorial. Now, here's the other thing with it. Let me explain. Here's what the other it? thing. So what a, a triple coin is, is, is it's basically three coins that stick together with magnets, right? And, and, and basically, the, the Chinesey bits are stuck on. Now, I've been working with this for about a week now. And you get some spare stickers. Uh, so you get some spare stickers for the you coins. Open it. Come on. There you go. You get some spare stickers mm -hmm. for the coins. You get one spare sticker. So you've got three okay. coins, two spare stickers. You get two spare stickers. But here's the problem right now. I've only been working with this for about a week, but on and off, like probably a couple of hours in total. Look at that coin. It's already oh, completely so, yeah, mashed up. That one, yeah. And that's not one of the ones with the sticker. This is an actual printed one. What? And it's it's already, I don't know if you can see that, it's already mashed up. And that's after only a couple of hours. Um, this one here, where's, there's another one. I don't know where it is. There's another one. Here, look, the sticker is coming off on that one. Look, can you see? Whoa. The sticker's coming off. If I, if I pull it like that, you're going to see it's going to come off completely. But I don't want to. So he, 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 that's that's the other problem. So, in fact, hang on a minute. Is that a sticker? Yeah, that that's just coming off, what? and underneath it, it's all really scratched, um, like really, really scratched. So that's whoa. coming off, whoa, 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 and underneath whoa, 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 it's really whoa. scratched. This one doesn't even have that sticker on. Because the problem is, how this works is you're sliding them back and forth and they're locking into place. So when you slide them, it starts to mash up the coins. Yeah, when you slide them, it starts to mash up the coins. So, I, I, so, right, here's the thing. It's a really nice idea. You saw the routine I just did. It's really nice. Like the vanishes that you can do look great. Only they look but this, you're spending almost £200 on this. For that. Which is fine. If they want to charge £200, that's fine. But you'd expect it to, after a couple of hours, look a lot better than it is now. And two stickers are probably going to last you a couple of weeks. And that's without me taking it to gigs and putting it in my pocket and like taking it out and throwing it into a close-up case afterwards. And then you, you factor in the fact that this has got like a four minute tutorial and just glosses over all of the moves. What you have here is a very, very, very expensive cash grab. <gasps> as much as I really like this and I would love to perform this because I love jumbo coin manipulation. There's absolutely no way I'm going to do this because they're to already get like five wrecked. Of them for... A thousand quid. I'm already, they're already wrecked. I feel like I've been ripped off here. I feel like I've been ripped off in terms of the amount of money I've spent. They already look wrecked after a couple of hours. The tutorial is terrible. I, in that performance, I had to throw in some of my own moves to flesh it out. There's so much more you could do with this and you're not able to do any of it because they're not teaching it you. There's no excuse. This, no is getting, this is getting zero percent. As much, when I first opened this up, I was going to get, I would, I'd be like, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm going to give this 100%. I love this. It's getting zero percent. I'm really disappointed because I wanted to do this. But as it happens, what N2G have done is they've done the magical equivalent of coming around my office, finding me, taking my wallet out, taking 200 pounds out, and then 
kicking me in the um, in the private parts and walking off. It's daylight robbery. This is absolutely ridiculous. Zero percent from me. What about you? I mean, I'm sick and tired of magic producers bringing out substandard shoddy crap and expecting us to pay for it. It's just ridiculous. Zero percent. What about you? Minus zero 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 a cup a cup, but with a one at the beginning. I've no idea what that is, but my so it'll be, it'll be minus one with a million zeros at the end. There's no way Michael's <laughs> going to put a million zeros on the screen, right? He doesn't like it. Bottom line, he doesn't like it. Let's move on. Okay, so next up, the next trick that we have what? is prop corn by yeah. uh, by the one and yum, yum. only Chris like Frosty popcorn. Frost. I like popcorn. Propcorn. This. Oh, yeah. brilliant. This, in my opinion, is trick of the week. This is in. I'm telling you right I don't now. Know. You don't know. I don't know. I have a sea coin or popcorn. Sea coin or popcorn. This is insanely good. If you don't know what this is, this is a little bit like Lolly Hero by Steve Rowe. In fact, um, uh, Chris on the tutorial, uh, you know, thank Steve Rowe for giving yeah, permission he, for. He says he really likes Lolly Hero. Yeah, and this is this is kind of a, a, a version of that. What you have here is. The... Are you sure we haven't done this one before? We've never done it, Ryan. We're I going remember, to. I remember talking about the. Um, he said, "Let's look at the. Let's look at my performance." But then he never actually did the performance. Yeah, no, but we ne we talked about it. We never actually did a review show on it. Yeah, but we did it. And Dude, we we've it. not reviewed it. <laughs> what? We've not reviewed it. I promise you. Uh, anyway, so what the uh, what the effect is basically is that you uh, have some little cards. Someone picks one, and then and they've all got different Disney characters kernels, on it. You take out some kernels and pour them into your hand, and then you put a lighter. Snap, snap, pop, 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 pop. One's popped. And it looks like the character that they picked. It looks like the character they've picked. Now, and you... they can pick any card. It's a free choice. Completely free choice. That's what's really cool about this. That's that's what's really cool about this. You'd expect this to be like a force. And it would be very easy if it was a force, but it's not. They bring it's out six... Easy, free choice. And the thing is, the characters that... So, so there's six cards, I think, that they bring out. And they get a choice of any six of these characters. And it has to be one of those six characters. But if you just had a kid or an adult, name a Disney character, there's a very good chance that they'll pick one of these six anyway. In fact, we're gonna show a performance now yeah, of so you doing I it to Thea. I remember Harry remembers it. So basically, um, you can have a free choice and the characters are, he says Minnie's his right hand man, so he goes in his right pocket, and Minnie's the opposite, so she goes in the left. And then he goes, I'm always getting stitches when I walk past things. So he's yeah, 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 we don't want to say everything. Yeah. And yeah. then he's got the other two in the back. Yeah, it's really good. Now, when you, when you did this on, on Thea, which we're going to show a performance of right now. You just said to her, "Hey, uh, not your favorite soup, not your favorite Disney character. What's your second favorite Disney character, or something like that?" And I she don't, just, I, don't, I, don't, I actually didn't know what her second favorite character yeah, was. Yeah, but you knew it wasn't. You knew that her favorite wasn't in there. So you were like, "Not yeah. your favorite, your second favorite." Um, and she just named one of the six characters, didn't she? Yeah. Which is brilliant. Because I know she's been. Uh, yeah, because she's like, because she watched all those films over Easter. I think it was Easter, and, she, and I said to her. Was it Easter? I think it was Easter. And I said to her, um, no, one of the films you watched over Easter. And I, I knew she was going to say one because the other one she didn't really like. She watched one, but she didn't really like it. And those were the six main ones. So I knew she would just say one of them. But the point is, you can say that getting into the routine. And if they say one of the four sites, one of the four uh, yeah, uh, so characters, say, oh, that's great. Oh, what's your favourite film? And if they say something like, I don't know. Uh, Peter Pan, that's, I don't know, I'm just thinking of a film, Peter Pan, and they go, oh, that's interesting, well, here I've got some cards, and they're all different cards. And, and the way that the cards are designed are really clever, because literally... Oh, my God, don't, don't talk to me about that, it's too clever. Yeah, don't say, don't say how it works or anything. But it is really, really clever. So they can pick one of these characters. And you just... And you, and you'll immediately you know. know. You, just, you just look at the back and it's there straight away. It's, it's very like clever. Very, very clever. Um, I'm going to show you a performance of Ryan doing this now to, uh, to Thea. So let's have a look at this. This was shot for his Instagram. And then, after this, we'll, we'll wrap up this particular review. Okay, so I'm here with my sister Thea. Thea, well, I'm just going to mix the cards up like this, okay? Uh, Thea, so I'm mixing the cards yeah. up, yeah? So you can tell that these cards are mixed, yeah? 
Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the cards up like this, and I'd like you to pick any one of these. That one. Okay, so I'm going to show everyone that that's your card. You got that? So everyone got that? You see that? Yeah? Okay. So, um, I've, now, I love going to the cinema. Now, apart from the movie, I would say the best thing is the uh, popcorn. So in here, I've got some uh, kernels. So I'm just going to tip the kernels into my hands, some of the kernels. Okay. Now I'm going to try popcorn. You ready? And you can see that one of these is actually popped. I think it's you named a character. What was that character? Dumbo? The flying Dumbo. elephant. Dumbo the flying elephant. Yeah. Look at that popcorn carefully. So let's talk about the plus points here because the reason I love this trick is there's so many plus points. First of all, there's two distinct moments of magic. Every, everybody knows what popcorn is. Everybody. So when you Even bring out me. yeah, when you bring out those little kernels and you put them in the hand and they hear the pop, that moment where it pops is a magical yeah, he moment. He does this. He goes. He puts it under and you go. He does this. Yeah. And it sounds like one pops and then you do it. Yeah. And, and, and when it pops, it just looks like a piece of popcorn and you can give it them and they can hold it in their hand, but there's no switch at this point. You're, you're no done. Switch. There's no switch. Oh, no switch. No, you're done. No so then you tell them to think of the uh, character that they, they picked and then they look at the piece of popcorn and it's there. And those popcorn, they are so well made. They really are, aren't they? Like they are really well made. They'll last a very, very long time. So this is perfect for a walk around because from a walk around or a strolling point of view, no tables, very easy to do and an instant reset. It's also very, uh, very practical for tables, but I reckon you could get away with this in a kid's show really easily. What do you reckon? I mean, the problem yeah. is the, the kids aren't gonna be able to see the face on the popcorn, but you could then walk forward and show them. And I think that'd be absolutely fine. Um, but but I mean it's more of a close-up trick. But I think you could do it in a in a kids show. What Ryan was referencing earlier, which was very funny, is that uh, in the tutorial Chris says, right, okay, so now uh, let's have a look at a performance. And then it just and it says and then the black screen comes up and it says performance, and then it goes right. So that's my performance. That's how I would do it. Now let me teach you uh, how to do that. When yeah. you don't even see what it is. Yeah, it's really funny. Uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, fair enough. We're not going to see that, are we? Um, but look, uh, we just had to. We just had to do it off what he said. We just, yeah. we just learnt it. We just yeah. learnt it. Well, I mean, you don't. It might, it might you've be. You've done this. You've done this a few times, haven't you? Oh now, yeah. Now there's six outs, obviously. But if you wanted to, and Chris does talk about this, you could do it with a force if you wanted to. You could use something like digital force bag. If, you, if pocket space was an issue, you could use something like digital force bag. Just have one with you and go into it that way. That's absolutely fine. That's not a problem at all. There's lots of different options. And I think the beautiful thing about this routine is there are lots of options. But here's the thing. It packs small. It plays big. Nobody's going to see it coming. It's a really cool revelation. Uh, and and it, it, it just, I just love it. It's really clever. You know, occasionally tricks come out and I look at them and I'm like, I wish I'd thought of that trick. That is a trick that I wish I'd thought of because it just, well, you, you, really you, you've performed it a few times now. What are the reactions like? Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> there you go. That's a description of what the reactions are when Ryan performs it. So I'm going to give this 99%. Uh, I think this is 100% for you. Yeah, I think popcorn's trick of the week. Popcorn's trick of the week. Chris, if you don't know who Chris Frost is, go look at the interview on Magic TV. He's, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's a great performer. Friendly. Very friendly. Awesome hair. Awesome hair. Awesome hair. Awesome hair. Awesome. Um, and, and just a really great performer and, and just, 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 just a helpful guy that will help anybody. He deserves all the success he gets. His, great. his hair is great, yes. Mm -hmm. We're not reviewing his hair. But... <laughs> <laughs> not everybody can have hair that looks like a mop, like you. Um, but yeah. Like you. I've got no hair, bro. I've got no hair. <laughs> he was going to get it cut the other week, and then a gig came in for him where he's got to dress up as Harry Potter. So he's like, I'm not going to get hair cut. He's got to have all of that because he needs the fringe. It's, it's all like switched over to the side, but usually when I wake up in the morning, it's all like down here and I can't see. I'll wake up and I go, am I quite cyclone or something? 
99% from me, 100% from him. Propcorn is amazing. We love it. Now from a massive high down to a massive low because this next trick is pants. Okay, next up we have Think Alike by Act Dot. Great minds think alike and like yours and mine. Uh, I have no idea what that strap line's all about. Um, this is the trick. Um, uh, I'm going to talk all about if it. That's gonna... true. If if if, it, if that's true, great minds think alike, like yours and mine. So if you say like yours and mine, if I think it's really pants, which I do, yeah, that means he thinks it's really pants. Very true. Let's have a look at the performance of it. This is an exact performance of exactly how to do this trick. I'm guessing he's putting it on there because he's like, well, if they're going to like it, they know I'm going to like well, it. Very possibly, but let's look at performance <laughs> first of all. This is a performance of me doing it to Ryland so you can see exactly what this trick is and what it does. Okay, right. so what I have here is there's 40 cards here. Yeah. And they're actually little mini whiteboards. So each one of them is like a little mini whiteboard. Really? Yeah, yeah, each one of them is a little mini whiteboard. They've all got little mini whiteboards. Um, but we're going to try and do something with these little mini whiteboards, a little whiteboard marker. And also, um, with well, you're going to take one of these. So there's 40 of them exactly. So give me a number from uh, 1 to 40. Tell me. Um, 14. 14, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So I'll deal 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Very good. We'll put that right now. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you take the pen and can you just write your name right there? Is that okay? On that side of the whiteboard. Okay. Maybe. Magic wand. What are you writing down there? Magic wand. A magic wand. Is that a super wand? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Don't know. I'm drying it. It's a whiteboard, my friend. Uh, <laughs> no idea. Uh, it's not a sharpie. Yeah. No, it's really not. I tell you what. We'll put it uh, about there. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said that we used one pen. We actually have. It. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it right uh, about there and turn it over so the signature's pointing downwards. Okay. Yeah. I said we were using one pen. We've actually got a second pen. Mm -hmm. uh, the second pen is up here. It's an invisible black pen. Now, this uh, is a permanent okay. pen. What I want Stop you it. to do is I want you to draw an invisible question mark in the air. This is great. Make a big dot in the lines. And then what you can do, that's perfect, is put the pen away. You can keep the pen. There you are. Souvenir. And what I want you to do is take that invisible question mark that you drew reach up and grab it and throw it at the deck. Let's see how we did. Because now, obviously, just like before, all of these cards are blank. But if we've done this right, there should be one card with a question mark. Uh, I don't know, maybe, oh look, there is. There's one question mark, one and one it's only. Right, can... Only one card that's got a question mark on it, which is this card right here. And this would be your card. There you go. Permanent. It's permanent. Yeah. Oh. I know. So weird. Okay, so that was a performance. And uh, look, here's it the thing. Look it it may was, have looked good. Well, look, here's the thing. I mean, the, the effect itself is okay. But this is one of the things that really is kind of annoying at the moment. There's a lot of tricks... What the three minute tutorial? No, oh. it's terrible. <laughs> the three minute tutorial where he explains how this trick Wait, works. Wait, three minutes? That's not a three minute trick? Yeah, it's a three minute tutorial. It's just dreadful. How would you explain it if you? And and just like Frosty, just like Frosty, it was a three minute trick, and he he opens up the three minutes at the beginning, going now. Having watched the performance, let's talk for. A... <laughs> Dude, there was no performance. There was no performance. It's a three minute tutorial. Um, but, you know, here's the thing. He's done a Frosty. He has done a Frosty. Forever now, if you miss the performance off your tutorial, it's called doing a Frosty. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's done a Frosty. <laughs> um, here, here's the thing. Look, let me focus. Well, because Frosty did it. Yeah. It's not 
truly terrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's not, it's not truly great. terrible. It's not, it's not terrible, but, but, but it's not great. But here's the thing, right? I think that there's a lot of people these days that are bringing out magic tricks that are just really not great. Uh, I remember back in the old days, everything that came out was like really good. Um, and now people are just racing to bring tricks out. This is something that years ago would have probably been the sort of thing that you would put in a, uh, in a in a magazine and it'd be like, hey, get yourself some double blank cards and follow along with me. This is how to prep the cards. It'll take a couple of seconds. You get these little mini whiteboard cards so you can rub off the, uh, the signature afterwards, although it kind of stays, you need to put some water on it. Um, but the thing is, it's not examinable at any point in the routine. So it's not examinable at the beginning. It's not examinable at the end. There's a lot of jiggery pokery in terms of there's 40 cards here. Um, he says, hey, name any number, but ideally you want them to name between ten and uh, 5 and 15. Uh, if they name over 25, you're going to have to do something that's going to make this whole routine look not anywhere near as clean heard, as what you saw. Say, I heard him say that most people would go 5, five and 15. But no, most people would go for something like in the 40s or 50s. Well, there was only 40 there, but there would probably be, I, I would say 20 odd would be the most popular. Yeah. Um, but but it's ridiculous because he's having this number name to get a card like really, picked. It would be really low, like one or two or three mm. or four. It would be easier for him to just say, look, take one, that one, that's the one you want. Okay, that's the one we're going to use, but he can't do that because of the method. Um, so it can't be examined during, before or afterwards. Not that anyone's going to want to examine it because it's not, it's not that interesting a trick. If you think about it, it's not really that interesting. A question mark appears wow. on the back of a signed card. That they never I, checked. That they never, that's the thing. They never checked that. That's a very good point. So when they take that card, it's not like they look at the back of the card. The card gets taken, they sign it, they put it back in the pack. Um, and, and then the question mark appears. Well, they don't go through a presentation, that whole take an invisible Sharpie marker and everything, that was all mine, uh, to try and kind of give this thing a little bit of a presentation. There's no presentation to it. Uh, there's no reason for it to be a question mark. Uh, there's no reason, but you know, there's a it million- could be a star. Yeah, there's a million ways of doing this with a uh, with a regular deck of cards that would be much cleaner Can you show us a million this. ways? I could do, but it's gonna be a very long video. If you want to, I'll do a video on Monday of three ways to make a question mark appear on the back of a card with a regular deck where they can look at the card beforehand and then the question mark appears on later. I'm Good. more than happy to do that. Do that on Monday. Maybe I should take the acid. Shut up, silly. It says three ways to, it says three ways to make a question mark right, I'll do here it. on the back. Oh. I'll, I, you know what, I'll go even further, I'll create three ways of doing this trick with a regular deck of cards, how's that? Yeah. And I'll put the video up on Five Monday. ways. Five ways, okay. No more, because I'm busy. At what um, time? I'm watching it. Okay. Huh? At what time? I'm watching it. Well, I'll have to film it on Monday, it'll probably go up like on a magic stuff, so probably the Thursday afterwards. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, what time? At, at nine o'clock on a Thursday. Is that in the morning? Or no, in the evening, that's when the magic stuffs go up, nine o'clock on a Thursday. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> this is just not a very good trick. There's just nothing about it that excites me. Uh, there's nothing about it that makes me want to kind of perform. I'm not going to perform this. This is just pants. Um, and it should never have seen the light of day. Never should have been released um, at all. Goodbye. Wee. <laughs> Zero percent. Fun. Zero percent. What are you giving it? Zero. Zero percent from me. 0% from him, it's not a very good trick. Let's move on to the last trick. Yeah. Okay, so the final trick is by one of Ryland's favorite creators, Gustavo oh, Raleigh, really? and this is called Tea Time. A break from magic. A break from magic. And this is randomly a, uh, trick. a transposition of a tea bag into chocolate. some chocolate. I mean, <laughs> it's weird. It's, it's weird. I mean, it's the sort of thing that Ryland would do. You know, Ryland doesn't like tea, he does like chocolate, so it makes sense. Uh, if you've not seen it, Ryland's going to do a performance of it now, so uh, this is... Instead of having, like, a chocolate, instead of doing it chocolate, you could cover the chocolate stuff up with coffee things. Okay. Let's... And then, then, then you could fill it with coffee powder. Okay. Or then... coffee beans. Can Are we look you? at a performance? Do you like coffee? I do you like don't coffee. don't like tea. 
Can we look at a performance of it? No, because I'm gonna carry on talking. For Please don't, because you're annoying. <laughs> this is right. This is a performance that Ryan did on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. Did I? Yes, this was an Instagram. Weeks. Days, sorry. <laughs> a couple of days ago. Let's have a look at this. This is Tea Time by Gustavo Raleigh. I've learned something today. I've learned that we should never give you sugar before you film a review show. How many sugar? Yeah, but, but, but you're high on something. I don't know what. Um, oh, right. I, mean, I had pancakes with golden syrup. Well, there you go. With there some is... white chocolate Smarties. Then that, the chocolate and the syrup is the sugar. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Right, so, um, do you like this? Yeah. Yeah? Why do you like this? It's cool. It's cool. Turning a tea bag into a chocolate, into some M&Ms is cool. Okay. Actually, there were Smarties. There were Smarties, I know. You can't there go. were white chocolate as well. There were white chocolate. chocolate, okay. No one, no one knew or okay. cared. Um, <laughs> no one knew or okay. cared. No one knew or okay. They don't care. No, they don't care. Mm. Don't care. Um, here's the thing. It's, it's perfect for social media. This is a great social media trick. I could see somebody doing like a really elaborate thing in a coffee shop where they're sitting in a coffee shop and somebody brings them a tea, uh, yeah, a, you know, a cup yeah, of tea. Because if you're in a coffee shop, you can't sell tea because yeah. it's a coffee shop. Yeah. And then they take the tea bag out, they put it in the thing and then they shake and they turn it into chocolate and they eat the chocolate. <gasps> I could see this. Chocolate! Yeah. I could see this working really well. In a, yeah, because if it's a coffee shop, you can't sell tea, so you turn the tea into chocolate. You can still sell tea. Right. But it's a coffee shop, not a tea shop. <laughs> you need to call it a coffee and tea shop if you want okay. to sell tea. I could see somebody filming this in a coffee and tea shop. But no, they... no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, would you ever do this in a gig, right? Be honest with me. I know you like Gustavo. Would, yeah. would you ever do it? Would you? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Really? Because of... You do it in a close up shoot. Yeah. Kick. You'd, For kids. You'd, 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 yeah, you'd, like at the summer fair yesterday. You'd, you'd reach into your little case, you'd take out your tea bag, you'd shake it, you'd turn it into yeah, a. Yeah, yeah, because all the kids came and I would say, no, no one here likes tea, but I know what we all like. Phew! Chuck it! I'm not you would do this, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is the thing. This is why it's good to have Ryland here with a different perspective. Because I would never do this in a million years. I would never do what? it in a kid show. I would never do it in a stage show. Why? I would never do it in close up. Why? It doesn't fit my character. It just doesn't fit it does. my character. It no, it does. doesn't. I would it never does. bring out a tip. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> well, my name's Craig Petty. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to start off by showing you a trick with a tea bag. Now, no one likes tea. Nobody likes no tea. Likes Let tea me put the tea bag away. But hey, does anybody here like chocolate? I mean, it's a, it's yeah. Here you go. Have some chocolate. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it sixty nine percent. I'm not sixty nine. Sixty nine. I'm not gonna do it. Focus. Look, here's the thing. It's it's a good trick. It's well made. Um, I like it, the fact that you can actually tip the chocolate it, out at the end. It's it's all rightly made. Oh, to, ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Getting an insight here after the six minute tutorial. What do you mean? Uh, it's all rightly made. Is, it, is there problems with it? Be honest. It's, it's You're a magic scratched. review. It's kind of scratched. It's already. scratched already? Yeah. Oh dear. I've only used it for like... Well, God, I opened it this morning. By the way, today's, no, not, today's not Wednesday. You it's didn't. Sunday. You opened it a couple of days ago when you filmed it for Instagram. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? Yes, but then you started playing with it again this morning. <laughs> I played in it again this morning. Because it felt like I opened it again this morning because I put it yeah. away in its packages. And then when I opened it this morning... I've only been playing it for like an hour because I only filled it for Instagram and I only played it with half an hour. And then this morning I played it for another half an hour. So after an hour and it's kind of already scratched. Is it? Yeah. So will it last? I don't know. Well, that's a problem. You need to bear, bear that in mind in your mm -hmm. review. I'm going to give it 69%. I'm, I'm not going to do it. It's an interesting... How much is it? It's not that expensive. Isn't it? I'll buy one, one every week then. I'll buy one every week. You, tell, them, you, tell them what you're giving it, Ryan. I'm going to give it... It's all for early. Um, I'm going to give it... Um, uh, 95%. 95%. Yeah. 
90% and 5% from Ryland. Please be aware. Short tutorial, but it does everything it needs to do. Uh, relatively easy to do. The gimmick works really well. It all locks in place, which means you can show it before and afterwards. It's a very simple reset. You can reset it in seconds. And it does, thank you, it does look very, very visual. There's a lot to like about it. Uh, I just wouldn't do it, which is why it's getting 69% from me. But as he said, be careful, because it sounds like it might not last forever. That's another oh reset in the bag. That's another reset in the bag. What the hell? That's another reset in the bag. <laughs> Have you broken your seat? <laughs> no, the, the, the stall lid kind of. We need to get you a proper chair. I remember the days when you stood up doing this. That was so much fun. Will you just sit down? That is another issue of you showing the bag. Thank you very much for joining us on that Magic wasn't even TV. Meant to I promise you, next week's review show will make sure he gets no sugar before we start the review I didn't show. I don't get any sugar. I just had some gold. The in sugar syrup in and syrup and the sugar in chocolate. We will be back again next week. If you want to follow him on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, it's Ryan and the Kid Magician. If you want to follow me, it's Craig Petty uh, underscore Magic TV. Although nobody follows me on Instagram, I will be. I'll be back again next, well, I'll be back tomorrow. He'll be back next week with another review show. And don't forget, you can join The Net Tricks by going to... www.thenettricks.cookies If that doesn't work, try .com. No, it's cookies. We'll be back again next week. Cookies, Thank though. you so much for joining me. I'm Craig. I'm Ryan. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.